Now welcome to Sutton Coalfield Town FC for this Peter With versus Queen Elizabeth Hospital charity game. The Peter With 11 is a Legends 11, a number of recognisable names in there from the world of sport, not just football. We also have wearing number 11 on the far side of the field from our camera position. Number 11 is Frankie Gavin, the former Commonwealth and British boxing champion between 2012 and 2015. Also in the team for Peter With, they're in the blue shirts. And they'll be shooting from right to left, depending on what happens at the toss of the coin in the middle. The captain, as you can see, for the Legends team in the blue is number seven, and that's Lee Hendry, the former Aston Villa, Sheffield United and England international. One England cap for Lee Hendry. He's shaking hands with number 12, that's Jamil McKenzie, in the white and red, representing the Queen Elizabeth 11. So Queen Elizabeth 11 from the local hospital here in the West Midlands. Once again, they're in the white shirts, the red shorts and the white socks and the team of Peter With. And they're in the dark blue with a red trim on the underarm of the shirts. The referee just carrying out the uh, usual procedure inside the centre circle. And yes, indeed, it will be the Peter With 11 shooting from right to left and the Queen Elizabeth from left to right. Stepping forward will be number 6-4. The Legends 11, as I'll be referring to them rather than just Peter with, and that's Stuart Hendry. As you can see, bears a very similar resemblance to number seven, the captain Lee Hendry, being from the same family and all. Alongside him is Darren Byfield, current manager actually of Redditch United from not a million miles away from this location, former Aston Villa and Warsaw striker, Jamaican international in his day. So we get this game underway, back to Lee Hendry. And Lee Hendry, as you would expect, wearing the flamboyant boots, being the cultured player that he was. Byfield with a pot shot from distance, and that's gone miles over the bar, and it's fortunate to stay in the car park. So we'll give him that one just to get his eye in. Like I said, former Jamaican international striker, and uh, we'll just say hopefully he's saving his best for maybe later on in the game. Just getting warmed up in these drizzly conditions. We've had a, a real big shower just before kickoff, but it is a, a lovely surface here. It's a, a crumble surface, an AstroTurf crumble surface, so it will take whatever weather the West Midlands can throw at it. Good ball forward, and running onto this is number nine, and this is Paul Delvers on the right-hand side. Inside the penalty area, he's got men across, but uh, poor clearance, and eventually the Legends team just boot it clear to the halfway line where Barfield controls on his chest. He's got Hendry up in front of him, who he finds. Lovely back heel flick by Hendry. Just loses out and his brother can't intercept the ball. So it's going to be Queen Elizabeth with the throw in down on his near side, just below our position in the main stand here at Sutton Coalfield Town. A number of stands quite uh, well populated by the crowd, shielding themselves from whatever rain might uh, come this afternoon. Lee Hendry outside of the boot finds Byfield, who's dropping deep and going to try and dictate any forward play. There's Frankie Gavin on the far side. I mentioned earlier the British and Commonwealth champion for about three years up until 2015 so hopefully he'll have a, the pace and the uh, stamina to last 90 minutes here. He loses out and it's uh, the Queen Elizabeth 11 who neatly plays along their bat line. Here's Harry Bolton, number eight, nice little roll over on his boots, white boots so he's got to be a good player to wear white boots. Speaking of boots, there's purple in the middle. Ball, ball forward, but it's one back for the Elizabeth 11. And there's the Pacey Gordon. Loses out. And here come the legends down the left. Stuart Hendry, he's got his brother on the overlap. But uh, a nice ball over to the far side. Frankie Gavin's offside. And he uh, just puts his hand up in to say thanks for the pass. If I was one of the officials, I'd want to stay on the right side of Frankie Gavin, to be honest. So he's been given offside once. We'll see uh, whether any marginal decisions will go to the uh, the current right winger's way. Three to the goalkeeper for the legends. This is Dave Curtis. First touch really for Richard Sneaks and his fellow centre half, Ryan Amu. Looking for any movement up front, and the majority of the movement actually is from Stuart Hendry, the uh, Wearing number six with the different coloured boots on. 
making himself available. Here's Nick Hawks, and now Lee Hendry, who's uh, dropping deeper than what we refer to him as being a uh, advanced midfielder in his professional days. Hendry out to Frankie Gavin on the far side. This time he's onside, on the right, cuts back. Looks like he's all right foot, Frankie Gavin. Just runs into a red and white cul-de-sac and the Elizabeth 11 clear their lines. Only to find Dave Darrell Burgess. Poor ball forward by Burgess. And now a chance for Elizabeth Evans to Springley counter-attack. And they do. Springley offside. Here's Delvers in the penalty area. Goalkeeper comes out. And the first goal of the game goes to Queen Elizabeth 11. And it is number 10. And that's Paul Delvers with a, a lovely finish, actually. The goalkeeper, Curtis, came out to narrow the angle. But a lovely side footy finish. And the first goal has been scored. And it's Paul Delvers. So the Queen Elizabeth eleven open the scoring in this game against the Legends, representing Peter With, of course, score of the winning goal for Aston Villa in the 82 European Cup final. Streaky ball over to the far side. Here's Byfield to try and level up early on. Good block by the defender, and that's going to go out for a goal kick. Lovely interception there by Brian Spooner. Back to the goalkeeper, bit clear first time, does so, up to halfway. Poor control by Steve With, who, shall I say, is anchor in the midfield. But here's a chance for Lee Hendry on the right-hand side. Good ball into the middle. Byfield, if he can pick this up, no, he can't. He's just ahead of the Jamaican. More of an agricultural clearance by the team in front, the Queen Elizabeth eleven. But out to the left and Byfield, who's... Managing to pull a few defenders out on this left-hand side. Hendry gets a second bar to the cherry, but loses out eventually. The ball's not sticking up front for the Elizabeth eleven. Here comes Steve with to try and win it back for the all-in-blue Legends eleven. Up to halfway, chance again. And everyone stopped there, the plain thinking it was going to be handball, but nope. Referee weighs play on. Here's Delvers, the goal scorer, lovely ball into the centre, controlled well, can they turn? There's a man on the far left-hand side, but he's trying to do it all himself, Is Jordan, pot shot from distance, and that's high and wide, and not very handsome indeed. Back underway with the Legends. Keeping the ball on the ground compared to the hospital 11, although good ball forward for the on-rushing defender who's managed to bridge the gap from defence to attack. That's Ryan Amu forward towards Hendry, but that is going to go straight into Bardell's hand. Risky rollout, although lovely play down the uh, right-hand side by the fullback. Pulled ball forward by Amu. Truth be told, he was given no real option by Byfield. As the rain really comes down here at Sutton Coldfield. Nice play in the centre by the one named Paul. He's got to be good if he's only got one name. I don't know whether he's got any Brazilian heritage there, but uh, he will be liking the conditions at the moment. So maybe the ball will be played along the ground a little bit more. Foul there. Is it a foul throw? I think it's going to be a foul throw given. I don't think... Robbie Bullows is uh, too impressed with the decision there, but the uh, referee, he's got to keep to the standards, especially with former professional footballers on the field. I think uh, Lee Hendry might have had something to say there. Here's Amu coming out of defence once again. Across to Hendry. Hendry forward to his brother on the edge of the area. Hendry, he's got Byfield on his left. Is he going to go himself? Nice footwork. Tries to bend it round, but that goes wide by a couple of yards. And he's not too happy with himself. He got no bend on that at all. And you can see the rain here. It really is coming down in steroids. It's quite gusty in places as well. And the trees on the far side. 
And I won't lie, there's a number of leaks in this main stand as well. Ball over the top, and again they've sprung the offside trap, and in on goal, here's Gordon, chance to make it two, great save by the keeper. Parries it away using both hands, and it's out for a corner. This time it was Dave Curtis who managed to just delay getting down. I think on the opening goal he went down too easily, and it was a simple case for Delvers, but this time he managed to stay on his feet for a little bit longer and see where the centre forward was actually going to place the ball and then got two hands on it. It's going to be a corner though from the right, the first of the game. Plenty of men forward, four into the penalty area actually. Free header off the top of the bar and that goes out for a goal kick. Absolutely free header, seven yards out. Got nice contact with it, directed it to the far top corner but just glancing off the top of the crossbar and the goalkeeper could only stand and watch. So good action so far in this first ten minutes. The Queen Elizabeth eleven leading by that one goal. Scored after five minutes from number ten, Paul Delvers. Poor clearance, but it's helped on by the midfield for the Legends eleven. Two bites of the cherry for the centre half. That's Christian Dulfs. Ball over the top for Hendry. Chance to get a right-footed shot in. Good tackle, though, by the defender. It's going to be a, the second corner of the game, the first for the Legends eleven. But uh, it was a good covering tackle by Spooner. That's not the uh, first time he's done that so far in his first ten. He blocked the shot earlier from Byfield. Corner taken short. The two Hendry brothers working it well. Chance for a left-footed shot. No, tried to cut back onto his right, did Lee Hendry, but... Just got the ball stuck under his feet and now a chance for a break on. On this far side you've got Delvers but uh, he can't be found. But he uh, gives encouragement to his teammate. Looking very dangerous actually the team in white and red. The team from the local hospital. Especially up front as well. Sprung the offside trap although I think the Legends eleven might be wanting slightly in terms of pace in the back line. Here goes Byfield down the left in the penalty area. Chance to get onto his left foot. Again it's number three. And that's Spooner with the interception. He's the, the main man at the back for the hospital 11 so far. Here is Spooner. Assured on the ball as well. If not, a little bit cocky. Nice interchange. Down the right. Again, chance to spring the offside trap, but the ball forward was poor by Gordon. Now the break's on. Hendry. has got Hendry forward. Lovely through ball, but again, well read by the defence. And if it wasn't, he would have been straight through there, Stuart Hendry. Again, the rain continues to come down. Byfield for Hendry. Hendry's got a runner in the moot, but can't find him. A couple of bounces through to the goalkeeper. That's not the first time that Ryan Amu has uh, wandered forward from the defence. Although they are lacking in their pace at the back, so it might be an idea for Ryan Amu just to hang back. Throw into the QE XI. Throw and taken by Bolton. Up towards Gordon, who tries to flick it on for Delvers, the goal scorer, wearing 10 out to the far side. Shows up well, does Delvers. Wants the ball back, has it, 30 yards from goal. Options on his right, he tries to find. The ball's not uh, produced quickly enough for. Some of his teammates like him. Gordon uses his strength well. Chance to get the ball in. Delvis is on the far side. Go ball in to find Delvis. Acrobatics. And that's going to run wide of the post. And it's a good effort there by the goal scorer. And the goalkeeper, he had it covered. But I think he uh, had a little scare there when he looked around and saw where the post was. Bounced a couple of times and went wide. But uh, again, a good effort there from Delvis, who looks to be the main man up front for the QEXI. Here's Hendry with a moot. Breaking down the left is Byfield. On the right is Gavin. Down the centre is the other Hendry. Can't find either of them. Outside of the foot by Hendry down the left. Byfield trying to use his pace, which he's still got some pace. And that goes out for a throw for the Legends. Into Hendry. Back to Byfield. Chance to get the ball in. He does so. Good control and clearance. Watched it well, did the defender. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
quarter hour gone. One goal to the good of the team from Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Back to the goalkeeper, the all in green, luminous green, both goalkeepers actually. And the legends in the blue. Try start once again down the left. They're favouring the left. Frankie Gavins. It's been a while since he's actually had a touch of the ball. His byfield keeps in. Ball towards aforementioned Gavin on the far side. And the header comes in, it's wide. That's Darren Smith. With the ponytail. And uh, I think he just took his eyes off the ball, actually. Gets a polite round of applause from the, the Bernard Bent stand on the far side. And they've uh, sensibly positioned themselves nearest to the refreshment stand. Again, good control by Amu. Back to Sneaks. Sneaks finds Byfield. Byfield's looking for a running Gavin. He wants Gavin to come off from that wing and be more central. Byfield goes down the left. Can Hendry keep this in? Yes, he can. Tries to skip past his man, but can't. And now a lovely turn. And coming down the right, it's Delvers. Delvers can't find his teammates. He's the main man for the Queen Elizabeth team. Definitely number 10. Good ball forward by Hendry to find Byfield, but runs through to the goalkeeper, Dan Barnell, who will be happy just to collect this and not suffer a shot from Byfield. We've had one shot already from Byfield, and, well, to say it went 40 yards over the bar, it might be uh, just doing him a bit of uh, a disservice there because it went so far over the top of the bar, it went uh, beyond the top of the stand that I'm currently situated in. Hendry takes his free kick, free kick just for a, a late challenge, nothing malicious. Hendry scoop over the top for Byfield, Byfield controls on his chest, he's in, in the area, but again, defender comes across, it's going to be a corner. Good tackle there by Krishnan Doofs. So nearly 20 minutes gone in this first half, it's... Queen Elizabeth 11 leading by that uh, early goal, scored as you would think by number 10, Paul Delvers, who's been the uh, the real attacking threat for them. But it's a corner here for the Legends. It's going to be taken by Stuart Hendry. Lee Hendry's on the edge of the area, the former Aston Villa in the England midfielder. He finds him. Nice dummy, Amu, left-footed shot, scuffs it somewhat and it takes a number of deflections on its way through for another corner, this time from the far right, but nice little uh, play there by the legends. Uh, step over by Lee Hendry, but Amu's left-footed shot was scuffed. Took two deflections on the way through for this corner from the right. Gavin takes it short for Byfield. Byfield goes past his man to the byline, tries to cut it back, cleared by the goalkeeper's feet. Gavin can't control with his head, has to go back and recover it. He hasn't got the pace of Mackenzie, but he does win a throw, does the former British and Commonwealth boxing champion. On the right, Gavin looks for options. He's got Hendry with him. Hendry back heel to Gavin. Gavin tries to culture the ball in with his right foot and it doesn't really come off. Here's Hendry. Hendry's definitely got that in his right foot. Mackenzie's got uh, Gavin behind him and that's the second offside by the linesman. So we're going to have to uh, just keep an eye on the linesman Gavin relationship for now. That's two offsides he's given to the former boxer. <laughs> Head forwards cleared by the QEXI. And here comes Gordon. Gordon on the right. He's got Delvers pointing his way forward, but Gordon continues his run, looks for a 1-2, but the return ball. The player claims this is Jordan and it came off a defender, but the referee's having none of it. And even though it is a, a charity match and raising money is the aim of the game, there is a competitive nature for the game, which you want if you're a spectator. Seeing former stars, not just from the world of football, but also different sports as well, you want a, a competitive edge to the game as the rain again comes back. So 20 minutes on the clock, one goal to the good are the team in white and red from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. The legends in the blue, shooting from right to left, battling in midfield. 
go into ground is Steve with can't win it back so it's on the left with Owen Roberts number seven on the left wing green boots nice drag back goes beyond his man Mackenzie can't control Amu he's uh, playing a little bit of football inside his own penalty area lovely dummy there and uh, the ball playing centre half finds Hendry Hendry's ball forward first time tries to find Gavin down the right Byfield uses his strength he's got the other Hendry on the left is he going to go himself though Byfield 30 yards from goal central position chance to go on his left foot left footed shot and it's wide didn't get hold of that one at all the ball was running away from him and uh, I think truth be told he'd have been better on his right the former Jamaican international Bardell with the kick only onto the chest of Hendry back to with with doesn't control but a move in a very competitive challenge in midfield brought down well by the goal scorer it's Delvers down the right can't be kept in by Gordon though and throw is quickly taken by Burgess Burgess to a move forward to Hendry that wide on the right there's plenty of space actually on the right hand side Gavin is not left that far touchline at all Darren Smith with the ponytail good ball forward actually with just doesn't have the pace to run on but here comes a 1-2 with Hendry and Byfield Hendry left side of the penalty area goes past his man chance for a shot near post good save by the goalkeeper and at the second attempt as well he gathers in well managed to get down well did Dan Bardell gets a nice round of applause as well from the uh, the Bernard Bent stand on the far side but he's going to have to be alert once again Hendry left hand side on his right foot chance for a shot right footed top corner what a goal there by number seven Lee Hendry there's a bit of international quality to that cut inside onto his right foot and bent a right footed shot into the far corner and it's the equaliser for the Legends 11 and it's from the former Aston Villa I went through, going through all of his uh, clubs Villa Stoke Leicester Derby Sheffield United in that one cap for England scored five goals actually for the under 21s and the equaliser for the Legends and a lovely goal at that a, a peach of an effort from Hendry wall out on the near side for Gordon Gordon controls down the right to find Dells who uh, a lovely little nutmeg as well asking for movement finds it on the far side always on the move is Delvers as well good tackle on the edge of the area referee looking close though nothing given can't be picked up by Hendry and uh, it's going to run us on the far side for a throw in for the legends Steve with with the throw finds Byfield Hendry asked his brother to make the run. Good control, somewhat accidental, I suppose. Stuart Hendry finds Daz Byfield, but poor control by Byfield on the left, but still has it. He's got a width for company. He uses himself as a dummy. Hendry goes himself in the box. Back out to Lee Hendry. He's going to chip it to the far side. But there's an offside flag. Shot across goal into the back of the net. Doesn't count because there is an offside. I think the goalkeeper knew it was offside but a hell of an effort from Ryan Amu he's got number four on his back but at the moment he's playing not only left back he's playing right back centre half and now he's a rampaging winger chance now for Stuart Hendry played here by Byfield goalkeeper comes out Hendry and again top corner lovely goal there this time from Stuart Hendry taking a, a hint from Lee Hendry goalkeeper came out but a simple case of bending it over the goalkeeper into the top corner and it's the third goal of the game the second for the Legends and from being one behind not three minutes ago the Legends are now 2-1 in front <laughs> so the Queen Elizabeth 11 who started very well very secure at the back and got that very early goal now find themselves behind and like I said earlier it's, it is a charity game but 
there is going to be a competitive edge and they want to win both sides. And you can see that in a few tackles already been made and here come the Elizabeth 11 once again. The main attack is Delvers. Lovely ball out to the far left. If it can be kept in by Roberts, it can't be. And you see there he's upset with himself, a big shout and a release of a bit of frustration there. He's not seen much of the ball actually on that far side. It's mostly been down this near right with the likes of Gordon. Header forward by Littlewood. Can't be helped on, although inadvertently helped by Richard Sneaks. Pot shot from distance straight to the goalkeeper. And Curtis has no problem there. Here's Hendry. Score of the equaliser. Lovely ball out to the far right. And if it goes over the top, of, we'll go into the, the step of Gavin. But no, well controlled by McKenzie, who's marshalling uh, Gavin on the far side very well. But here come the Elizabeth 11 into the area. Poor touch. It was just that last touch. Took it away from Gordon. Look for the world, he's going to run straight on goal and manage to get a shot off in a one on one situation. But no, just a very heavy touch there at the end. But still, an attacking throw, level at the edge of the penalty area on the left. Shout of a high boot between the two number fours, but referee waves play on, breaks on now. Byfield down the left, can he pick this one up? Yes, he can. He's in the area, left hand side. Again, tackled by Spooner. Spooner on Byfield, that's happened. At Four or five opportunities. Hendry, lovely ball over to Byfield on the far right. This time he's onside. Byfield goes to ground. Referee thinks about it and gives a penalty. It's a penalty for the legends. And the defender, hands on hips, he's looking around to try and find someone to help him with this and he's having none of it at all. Look at his arms out there. He's asked the people in the stand. He's asked the refreshment stand as well. He's now having a word with the referee. He can't believe it. Byfield's stayed on the ground I don't know whether he stayed on the ground because of the tackle or through embarrassment but whatever the referee has given a penalty so a chance for the legends to get the third goal and it's going to be Byfield himself actually to dust himself down the tackle was by Christian Dulf number 16 so Byfield versus Bardell so Byfield, current manager of Redditch United, former Villa Warsaw Rotherham striker and Jamaican international with his right foot. Byfield stops and into the back of the net. Top corner again. So that's three for the legends, three right-footed shots and three into the far top right-hand corner. So we'll see whether that pattern will carry on. Good penalty though, just sold the goalkeeper down the river, as you would say. So, 3-1 to the Legends. 27 minutes on the clock. So, two goals for the Hendrys, Stewart and Lee Hendry. And then we've had a goal now for Daz Byfield. There's going to be a substitution. We will have rolling substitutions for the Legends. It looks like coming off here will be Steve With. He's come to the near side. He's just having a quick word with the uh, the bench here. I think they're just uh, talking about shirts. But no, he's going to remain on the field. Then gets back underway. So Roberts has actually swapped side. I sense he's uh, not had a lot of look on that far left. He's now switched over to the right-hand side, which is number number seven. Really excellent. Displays good raking ball out from a move over to the far right. Here's Stuart Hendry, the quickest really of the forwards. Tries to make back to Gavin. Gavin once again, it gets intercepted. I wonder if they're going to switch Gavin over to the left. The legends, he's having no change out of the likes of McKenzie on that far side and goes to ground and uh, doesn't concede a corner. It's going to be a throw in. So I'll throw in to the legends. Good chest back by Hendry. Finds Sneaks. A move. He's already had a shot from distance. Good chip into the area. That's going to run through to the goalkeeper. And Bardell does well. Well, 
Roll up by Bardell to find Dulce, who conceded that penalty. Ball over the top for Delvers. But it's uh, well dealt by Burgess. Hawks. Nice dummy away from his man. He's pleading for options, really, and just plays an aimless ball forward, but it's uh, inadvertently goes to Hendry. He's got Byfield making a lovely through ball, and uh, Byfield is offside. He's going to score, but that's the third offside now. Byfield's not happy. I think he's actually saying to his uh, teammate, Hendry, we played the ball earlier, but I have to say, it was a lovely through ball, and he just mistimed his run slightly, or I think we'll give credit there to the defenders as well, stepping up in time. Brian Spooner in the middle, number three, who's been... Uh, the nemesis, really, of Byfield in this first 30 minutes. Making a number of important blocks. A cultured chip forward there by the goalkeeper. And there's a chance for a lob on here by Hendry. Goalkeeper's outside his box and does well there. Left hand parries it for a corner. I'm too sure whether Dan Bardell will be chipping the ball forward like he did today. Very casual lob forward and onto the boot of Lee Hendry's. Having a bit of a joke there with the goalkeeper. Pot shot from distance. It was going on. It was on target. Ball into the area. Chance for a shot by a defender. Into the back of the net. Great goal there. And that's Daryl Burgess with a right-footed shot. I think maybe the defence were still talking about that lobbed effort. So the fourth goal of the game. And it's a great volley there by Daryl Burgess. Caught the defence napping. Right-footed again into that far right-hand side. Goalkeeper never moved. So full bond, the Legends lead. Roberts coming inside from the right and again letting out frustration that we've seen so far. It's not really been his day so far. Hendry to the other Hendry. Byfield over the top for Lee Hendry. He's broken off side trap. Goalkeeper comes out. Is he going to lob him this time? Yes, he does. And he's successful. What a goal there by Lee Hendry. That's his second of the game. His second attemptive lob. The first one was well saved by Bardell, but this time the goalkeeper can have nothing to do. And the orange boots just lifted over the goalkeeper into the back of the net. It's the second of the game for Lee Hendry, the fifth for the Legends, and a lovely goal as well. So the first goal of the game went to the Queen Elizabeth eleven, and they did look very threatening, and they still do actually up front, but the legends, the quality has really shone through, and a few balls through the defence recently have really caused them problems, and the quality then of the finish in Byfield, even though he's had one ruled out for offside, it was a lovely finish into the bottom right, and then Hendry there with that delicious, delicate chip over the goalkeeper. Nice play here by the Elizabeth eleven. They're going to have a throw in down the right. Bullows. He's got Roberts down the right, but instead he finds Paul in the centre and down the left goes Hendry once again. Finds his brother. So here's Stewart wearing the different coloured boots on the left into the penalty area. Far side is Gavin, but Mackenzie again gets there ahead of Gavin. That's not the first time that combination has happened. So Frankie Gavin. He's looking to take a corner. I'm not too sure it's going to be a corner. I think it's going to be a, a throw in here. Very taken by Gavin. Can't get the return ball. So 33 minutes on the clock and it's the Legends 11-5, Queen Elizabeth 11-1. Very entertaining game as well. Mainly due to the likes of Lee Hendry there with lovely close control. Finds Darren Smith. Back to the bat line. Here's Steve With. Remember it is a Peter With. 11. Goalkeeper asking for defenders to stretch wide. Not too sure any of them did though, but he found them with a comfortable side footy ball. Long ball forward by Hawks down the right, searching for Gavin, who I'm going to be kind and say he came short for that one and didn't make the running behind. I'll whisper that quietly as well. I don't want him to hear me on the far side.
Chance for the ball to be cleared. Hacked forward. And uh, there's a few players actually turning around, not too happy with that, including the likes of Roberts and also the goal scorer Delvers. But once again, it's the legends coming forward. Nice interchange and football on the edge of the area. Couldn't find the final ball. Here's a moot. Just getting the ball on the ground. Lovely flick over the top, Gascoigne-esque. And he goes a moot. Pass one, pass two. Can't beat the third. And the ball's just not sticking up front for the Elizabeth eleven. Hendry to Hendry. One two between the brothers. A no look pass there by Lee Hendry, who's uh, after scoring that lob ball. The uh, tricks are going to come out now. Byfield. Plays a 1-2, still got it in the centre. There's only 25 yards from goal, nice little Cruyff turn. And finds Lee Hendry. Byfield makes a run down the left. He's got three men on the far side. He's going to use a wall as Steve with. He's going to try and win that one back. Here comes Hawks. Hawks from distance. Good save by the goalkeeper. Got down low. It's a good job he did as well because he went straight through his hands in between his knees. And defender down at the moment. That's Christian Dulfs. Ball over the top for Byfield down the left. Can he keep it from going down the play? Yes, he can. Byfield on the left. Finds Hendry. Ball over the top trying to find Smith on the far side. Just overran it, did Smith, and does very well. Stops it from going down the play. Back to a move. A move with plenty in the centre, including Hendry. Plays a 1 2. Back to Hendry. But it's cleared for a throw in to the Legends in front of the stand on the far side. In the sun now here at Sutton Caulfield, which is very, very welcome indeed after a torrential downpour just after the kickoff. So the player down is the uh, number 16, Christian Dulf, who's actually gave away the penalty, but uh, the trainer's been waved away. I think they've waited until the last possible second to wave the trainer away, who comes across with a big smile on his face. Back to the action, ball to the far side. Chance for Gavin on the far side, who switched. I mentioned earlier he's going to switch sides to the left to try and see more action, but uh, just couldn't get there with the head up. He would have had a simple chance. Here comes Roberts, though, down the right-hand side, offside was Dulfs, although the linesman kept his flag down because he did ignore the ball. And still a threat up front. The likes of Dulfs and Roberts. Roberts can get hit. No, he can't. So the ball's played forward. Controlled on the chest well by With. In fact, that was Gavin in the centre, who's moved more in the centre. I think uh, Lee Hendry's just taken a bit of turn out on the right wing this time. So Gavin's going to be the main playmaker straight down the centre along with Stuart Hendry Amu out to Lee Hendry on the right who's offside flag goes up so free kick for the Queen Elizabeth 11 on the left hand side it's going to be McKenzie who's done very well with Gavin so far now he's going to have a different proposition with Lee Hendry Burgess does well, controls on his head, plays it forward, finds Byfield, down the centre he's got Stuart Hendry, but Byfield too much on that, he's not happy with himself, it was quite a simple ball forward. <laughs> Owen Roberts on the far right, he's screaming for the ball, he's going to get it but he's offside. Takes a shot anyway, goalkeeper's not too impressed with that, he's going to have to go and pick the ball up, but I think that's more out of frustration there by Owen Roberts who's had absolutely nothing of the ball on the far left and now he's come to the near right hand side it's just not worked for him and the one chance he gets to strike clear he's actually offside I won't be surprised if Roberts has maybe moved into a more central position he's obviously a good player technically quite sound Seven minutes to go until half-time, so it's the Legends leading by five goals to one. And some really good goals as well. Here's one of them from 
Byfield, number 10, Jamaican, former Jamaican international. Finds Darren Smith. He of the hair fame and the lime green boots. Lovely interchange on the edge of the area. And it's Stuart Hendry in the area. Chance for left footed shot on goal. He uses right, headed over the bar, and it's going to be a corner. Lovely cover defending there by Robbie Bullows. Look for the world that Stuart Hendry was going to use his left foot to maybe beat the goalkeeper's power, but no, he used his right, tried to flick it over the goalkeeper, which he was successful in doing, but the covering defender, Robbie Bullows, heads it over for the corner, taken, chance for a shot on the edge of the area, but it's well cleared over towards the benches. And it's going to be a throwing for the legends. It's a good defending by the QE11, especially two Bullows and three Spuno, who's uh, rescued them on a number of opportunities, especially in the first 15 minutes or so. Lovely ball by Smith to the left, although Barfield went for it over the top. Just a little nudge on the defender, and uh, it's going to have a throw into the legends now on the left. In the glorious sun now, it's, and it's actually fairly warm as well, a number of players. I've mentioned over to the benches about getting a few drinks. Hendry finds a move up to Smith. Delicate touch for the other Hendry who gets shoved off the ball. Six on six, Paul there pleading his innocence. And uh, I think to be fair to him, Hendry was just a bit too cute. And his ball around the back, nice little flick. Truth be told, it wasn't really going towards another legend player, but I think he was just too quick there for his fellow number six. So a free kick for the legend. Now this... Could be very interesting indeed. Just under 25 yards from goal. As you can see, left of centre. But I reckon about four of the five goals have gone into the far top right-hand corner. And that looks the designated position here for a Moo. He tries it. Oh, it just bends wide. Good effort there by Ryan Moo. Just uh, got a lot of bend on the ball, but asked too much of it. Goalkeeper just watching on and I think if it was a couple of feet to the left I think he still would have been watching on and seen it fly into the top corner but a good effort there by Ryan Amu who's been very impressive in this game here comes Steve with on the right Frankie Gavin across to Byfield well marshalled good tackle and now a chance for Roberts Roberts down the right he's got Delvers inside Roberts he's going to go himself nice little step over Leaves it for his midfielder, doesn't get the ball back. And again, Roberts just loses out. Hendry, nice little Marseille roulette in the centre there. Tries to play the ball forward, actually played it off the back of Steve With inadvertently. Good control by Jordan. Jordan tries to play in Delvers on the far side. Good covering, defending. Sensible defending as well. And now the game's got quite stretched. Down the left, Amu plays it in for Stuart Hendry. He's got Byfield on his inside. And he's also got Amu who's carried on his forward run. Finds Byfield, Amu's on his own on the right. Tries to find him and Amu just can't pick that up. It went straight through the legs of Tom Littlewood. And Amu had already stopped his run if he carried it on. He would have been in on goal. The all-action Ryan Amu. So the final few minutes of the first half, very insane first half, 5-1, the Legends lead and quality goals as well. And one of the uh, pieces of quality actually that didn't result in the goal was that lob by Lee Hendry from all of 50 yards and really well saved by the goalkeeper. Hendry tries to play it forward for another opportunity for Amu who's started at centre half and he's now playing a centre forward. Hendry playing with Richard Sneaks at the back. Again, very comfortable on the ball, as you would expect from a former England international and Premier League star. Many clubs actually throughout his career for Lee Hendry. 14 years at Aston Villa, Barfield. Good ball forward to Stuart Hendry. Goalkeeper started to come off his line there. Hendry, good close control, turn, and again a good tackle. Comes in from the defence, and it's going to be, this time, a goal kick tackle there by Christian Dulf, who has made amends after giving away that penalty to Barfield. 
a move, picks it up for the legends. Forward for Lee Hendry, just let the ball run forward, but again, Spooner gets there with his right foot and it's going to be a throw in for the legends. Yeah, Lee Hendry, 14 years with Aston Villa. 20, 12 under 21 caps. Five goals as well. And then also playing for the likes of Sheffield United and Derby County Stoke. And also on loan at a number of clubs, including Leicester. Offside is Delvis on the far side. A number of the crowd not happy, but uh, it's only a few yards from my commentary position, actually, just to the right. And I had him about three or four yards offside, so I'm going to give credit to the linesman on the near side. He's having a nice joke with the Legends bench who he's standing in front of. So a move's dropped back into the centre of defence. His ball out to the left is not the greatest. Hendry made a tentative attempt of a tackle. But here comes McKenzie's actually swapped to the right. Out on the far right-hand side is Roberts once again. He's going to drift in. Roberts into the centre. Ball over the top by Paul. Tries to find Jordan. And Jordan's going to win a corner. So good play by the Queen Elizabeth eleven. Nice interchange. A bit more thought behind the passes, actually. And just keeping the uh, legend's defence on their toes with some... Uh, crisp first time ball which uh, to be honest is what they were doing in the first 10 minutes and they've stopped doing for the remainder of the half corner comes in goalkeeper nowhere out to Bullows chances shouts hit it and he does so over the top of the bar good effort there by uh, Robbie Bullows goalkeeper was there I think he was uh, he had a tentative hand towards the crossbar I think if it was dipping under he would have been in a real spot of bother but a good effort by Robbie Bullows who obeyed the shouts of the crowd and gets a, a warm round of applause as well. So in the final few seconds of this first half, goalkeeper takes the goal kick and the referee blows for half time in a very entertaining first half in which the Peter with 11 lead by five goals to one. Actually, the goal scoring was started by the Queen Elizabeth 11 after only five minutes. A great goal there by Paul Delvers, but then roaring back with goals from two goals from Lee Hendry, Stuart Hendry, a penalty by Daz Byfield, and also a great volley by Daryl Burgess. And a very entertaining first half. It's the Peter with 11 leading by five goals to one. So back underway here at Sutton Coalfield Town FC. Lovely AstroTurf pitch and quite glad actually we've got an AstroTurf pitch because as you can see it's absolutely teeming down once again. Ball forward by Hendry. Can't be kept in by the other Hendry. The other Hendry being Stewart. Both of them on the goal scorers list already. 5-1 the Legends lead and the Peter with Legends 11. Shooting from left to right in the dark blue navy shirts against the Queen Elizabeth 11 from the local Queen Elizabeth Hospital and they're in the white and red attacking down the right hand side good sliding tackle coming in from Hawks on the goal scorer Delves so 5-1 the Legends lead very entertaining first half a couple of really good goals from Hendry a number of being bent into the far top right corner ball into the area cleared once again this time out for a throw in Anywhere will do for Dowell Burgess there, left foot. Matt Jordan all over the back of him. So, yeah, a number of uh, cracking goals in the first half. Uh, an attempted 50-yard lob by Lee Hendry as well, well saved by the goalkeeper. Let's see and let's hope for more of the same in the second. Defender goes to ground, but it's still in the area for the QE XI, who are looking to get back into this at the first possible opportunity. It's going to be an offside flag. As the rain continues to come down even harder now, you can hear bouncing off the tin roof. Offside. Again, Stuart Hendry on the left-hand side with the different coloured boots on. So a number of star men out there for the legends. On the right wing, number 11, 
is Frankie Gavin, the former British and Commonwealth boxing champion. Of course, we've got Lee Hendry patrolling the midfield area, number seven, the former Aston Villa and England international. Spooner, number three, dangerous ball forward, finds McKenzie. McKenzie just prods it towards Littlewood, who does well, Littlewood, out on the right-hand side. Ball played in towards Jordan. Jordan can't pick it up. It's the giant Nick Hawks who dominates that tackle. Has a bit of a smile with Jordan. Ball played forward for Gavin. Gavin trying to keep the ball in, and he does so, but he's offside. And uh, that's really been the story of Frankie Gavin's game so far. He barely touched the ball in the first half, and he's uh, had express pace trying to keep that from going out of play. And, and on the offside, that's, I think, his fourth against the former boxing champion. Also in the team for the Legends, number 10 is Darren Byfield, current manager with Redditch United, former Jamaican international. But well, here's a chance for the Queen Elizabeth Levin to get back into the game, and they do so. Cracking finish and the second goal of the game for Paul Delza. Right footed volley, goalkeeper no chance into the bottom left hand corner. And just like the first half, the first goal is scored by the Queen Elizabeth eleven, and it's 5-2, and it's been a competitive charity match, and I'd love to see the Queen Elizabeth eleven get a third and really get back into this game. Number 10, Paul Delves with a cracking finish there. Here comes Byfield, tries to go through the entire defence, but uh, unsuccessful. So 5-2, down the left. The substitute is Josh McLeish. Josh McLeish, he's got the uh, black shorts on, so he's going to be very easy to pick out. Over on the right, it should be a, a Legends throw-in, but I think the referee's going to give it, and he just gives it to the Queen Elizabeth eleven. Ball forward down the right, chance to get the ball into the penalty area. It's in the penalty area, but hooked clear by the defence, and uh, a good spell of possession here for the hospital 11. Can it be kept in? No, it can't by Bullows, who had a, a real dipping effort at the end of the first half. Number two, Robbie Bullows, just over the top of the bar. and Bit of a tap of hands there by Nick Hawks and the goal scorer, Delves. Just after a heavy challenge, Delves obviously plays at a, a decent standard. He's by far the, uh, the main goal threat for the... Elizabeth 11. In fact, possibly the main goal threat on the field, actually, with his two goals. It's going to be a, another bite of the cherry for the men in white and red on the right. Pull into Matt Jordan. Matt Jordan with an attempted dipping effort. And that's going to be a goal kick. So five minutes gone and it's uh, started the second half the same way as the first. Very entertaining. Here's Darren Smith with a good ball for Frankie Gavin. First chance really for Frankie Gavin. Ball at his feet to actually play a bit of football. Plays it back to Lee Hendry. Lee Hendry outside of the boot finds Byfield. Frankie Gavin made another run down the right and uh, I think he would do best actually just to check to his left and see where the line of defence is before he makes his run. Four times offside. Ball over the top for Richard Smith to run on to. Darren Smith tries to keep the ball from going down the play. Dummies it, leaves it for Gavin. Gavin, what can he do from the byline? Ball in, defended at the near post. And McKenzie, who marshaled Gavin well in the first half, can clear left-footed, does so down the left. It's going to squirm out by the Legends dugout. My Steve Withers just putting on his jacket. Here's Darren Smith. Hat clear by Spooner, that's gone up rather than out. And Amu, good control. Hendry tries to dink it over the top for Amu, but didn't get enough on that. And the break is on now for the Elizabeth 11. We've got Delvers on the far left-hand side, if he can be found. There's Matt Jordan on the right. Delvers is in the centre, along with Hawks. Cross comes in over the top of Hawks, and Delvers over the top of the bar. Bangs the floor in frustration. Any decent contact on that towards goal would have surely resulted in a, a third goal, a hat-trick, and also the game would have been really on. 
disappointed there. Just got under the ball and spooned high over the top of the crossbar. But again, all the play is with the Queen Elizabeth XI. And it'd be interesting to see how the fitness hangs up for the Legends XI. With the greatest of respect, I think there might be a few years the senior. So as the game goes on, maybe they'll need this big advantage. We'll find out. Only six and a half minutes gone in this second half. Now Burgess back to his goalkeeper, Curtis. Back to Burgess. Sensible play by the defence. Coming short is the substitute, Bobby Thompson, wearing 14, just patrolling the midfield with Lee Hendry. Here's Nick Hawkes, who misread that cross, which resulted in the chance for the hat-trick for Delves. Hendry's going to try a long one here out to the far left for Byfield. Good covering header back to his centre half and spoon up. Bit, uh, bit slack there from Tom Littlewood. Waited for the ball to come to him and he was closed down, but uh, Mackenzie does well. Ball down the left, finds its target and Delvers is going to drive towards the goal. He might get a shot on goal himself here. Goes to the byline, goalkeeper reads it well and stops the cutback. Didn't get uh, a lot on that with his left foot and uh, well, the noise is picked up here at Sutton Coalfield and the intensity has as well. Mackenzie controls in his chest and shouts out with frustration. He couldn't control that. Gets back and heads it well. Good play in the midfield by Paul to find Littlewood. Tries a 1-2, gets it back. There is four forward in this attack. Here's Jordan. He's got options on his right. Goalkeeper comes out and he's going to take this going to ground but all the play is in the left hand half at the moment I wonder if there's a few just blowing a bit heavy from the Legends 11 once again it's the white and red of the QE XI coming forward no shout there by a teammate of Matt Jordan he turns around and asks for a man on shout here's Hendry on the halfway line he's only got Stuart Hendry and Frankie Gavin further forward Frankie Gavin down the right makes a run but Hendry gives it to a Moo who tried to find Gavin but it hit the back of Stuart Hendry's heels. The shout is for Paul to play it back to defence and he didn't, he should have done because the only thing that Jonathan Preston could have done was try and clear it to Byfield on the left-hand side, into the area, pass one, pass two, goalkeeper comes out, squares it to Hendry, Hendry goes past another, can he get a shot off? He's in the six-yard box and the goalkeeper does well and smothers it. I think Hendry would have been better to maybe take an earlier shot and definitely Byfield. Back to Hendry, edge of the area, lovely ball forward for Byfield. This time he takes a shot himself, comes back out and it's another goal for the legends. It's Darren Smith who pokes it in from close range after a lovely interchange there between Byfield and especially Hendry, this time making amends for their earlier mishap by trying to walk the ball into the net. Byfield took the shots, good save once again by the goalkeeper, but it only came out to Darren Smith who had the simplest of opportunities and pokes it in to make the score. Peter with Legends 11 6. The Queen Elizabeth 11 2. So hopefully that doesn't uh, stop the Queen Elizabeth team in their tracks. and Because they really did start this uh, second half and they were pressurising for that third. Once again on the far side, it's Jordan who's um, in the action along with number seven, that's Owen Roberts, and Owen Roberts not happy at all with that decision, although that's happened a number of times already in this game. Throwing to the legends. I think a lot of the frustration as well would be the fact that they've had a couple of opportunities to really get back in. but they can't give any opportunities to the 11, not with the likes of Byfield and Hendry. They're going to take their opportunities. Sun's back out now. So the rain has stopped for now. Here's Hendry, halfway line. Gavin's down the right, tries to play it across for Stuart Hendry, but he's offside and he's pointed to the linesman to say, not too sure about that one. To be honest, he did look a yard or two forward of the defence. So I think the linesman once again Definitely got that one right, although Hendry's always going to uh, 
maybe have a word and just say, come on, give me a chance, Lino. Right, substitution. Coming off is Owen Roberts. And there's going to be a change of shirt here. So, number seven, Owen Roberts, has been replaced by a substitute, but he's wearing Roberts' shirt. So, for the rest of the match, I will call him the substitute on the far right-hand side. He's gone over to the right wing, so we'll keep an eye out for the substitute, see how he gets on. Ball forward by Hendry. It's probably his poorest of the game. Headed back towards the goalkeeper who's come for it, but uh, I think Brian Spooner there did the right thing and take matters into his own hands. He's a very accomplished football, actually, Brian Spooner. He, he reads the game very well. A number of times he saved his team in the first half, especially from Byfield. Kept him really quiet for the first 20 minutes or so. And I think he did right there by ignoring the goalkeeper and doing things himself. First touch for the substitute. Does well, controls. Back out to the right, although now they're going to go back to Bardell, the goalkeeper, who himself has done well. A number of one-on-ones he saved. That's not the greatest ball forward. And again, Hendry goes for the lob. This time it's going to go to Frankie Gavin. This time he's onside as well, Gavin. Back to Stuart Hendry. He's got Amu in the centre. Tries to chip it forward for Amu. He's going to continue his run and pick this up. He goes to ground and the referee's going to give another penalty. There's a, a few groans on the crowd. But uh, Amu did carry his run and I don't think that McKenzie knew he was there. I think he went to clear the ball and all of a sudden Amu was there and he caught the number four. He went to ground and it's going to be another penalty. So the first one was scored by Byfield. This time it's going to be Byfield again. The first one he actually stopped in his tracks. The goalkeeper dived and then Byfield just placed it in the far right. So let's see what happens here. Again he does it. He leaves it for Hendry and Hendry's going to try and not make the goalkeeper who does well, goes to ground. Much to the hilarity of the crowd and now Mackenzie will go. It's a similar Robert Perez, Thierry Henry-esque. This time the little tap to the side worked and Hendry tried to nutmeg the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper's got a huge smile on his face. Whatever happens in this game, he can say that he's foiled in an attempted Henri Perez-like penalty. So they've already tried it once, actually walking the ball into the net, and the second opportunity didn't work either. So referee saying that... Uh, well, a lot of players saying that should have been a free kick there for the QE 11. And now the game's just stepped up in pace and there's a few tackles going in, which again is what you want to see in these uh, Legends games. Bit of competitive nature to it. Good control and turn. Going down the left, this is Matt Jordan. Matt Jordan, ball inside is poor though. Only finds Bobby Thompson. Now clear to Hendry. Hendry out to the right and a move. He's got Hendry in the centre circle. Byfield on the left, finds Gavin on the right, and again McKenzie comes forward and tackles Gavin, who's tenacious, but so is McKenzie, who does very well making amends from giving away that penalty. Amu hits the referee, and that's going to be the biggest cheer of the day. The referee taking a full-blooded ball from Amu forward, and it's a chance for Jordan. Goalkeeper comes out and does well, and... It goes out for a throw-in, but Jordan really got the bit between his teeth. He's the main forward now for the QE11. Referee just seeing the uh, funny sides having a quick chat with the Moo. I think he's saying, next time you want to try a fancy crossfield volley, give me a shout. Hendry, plenty of space in the centre circle. He's got Byfield making a run. Poor ball forward. He's going to have a second opportunity, though. He's got a Moo on the right. Gavin's dropped deep as the main centre forward. Good ball forward by Amu for Stuart Hendry. He's got Gavin in the centre. Across comes the defender who offers a hand to help him. Jonathan Preston there with the foul. There's a real opportunity there for Stuart Hendry to play in Gavin in the centre. He was completely by himself. And uh, I think they've moved Gavin into the centre, which is really the best place for him. He's going to have opportunities there. And hopefully... 
the teammates will set him up. Here's Stuart Hendry who's fouled for the free kick. Leaves it for a move to play the ball in, drills it in across the penalty area and cleared by the white and red of the hospital 11. Good tackle by the substitutes on Lee Hendry. Goes back to the halfway line, just nutmegs Shane Garland. The shout is close your legs on Josh McLeish in the black shorts. Chance for the legends on the edge of the area. Byfield scuffs it wide. Wide the left-hand post. It was uh, left of him, actually, by Bobby Thompson. I thought Bobby Thompson himself was actually going to take a shot. He's played very defensively in this game. I thought he was going to take a right footy pot shot, but uh, Byfield, the senior man, his effort squirmed wide. Once again, the Hospital eleven are playing some good football, keeping it on the ground and enjoying this day. Spooner. Forward towards Preston, who couldn't control the ball. McLeish. McLeish has got two men round him, does well. Didn't panic. Out to Littlewood. Littlewood leaves it. Ball in towards Dells. Can't control. Chance for a shot from distance. Just hooped over the bar. In fact, it was wide. I think it might have actually dipped in, but uh, it was wide of the right-hand post. And it's going to be a goal kick to the Legends eleven. <laughs> 18 minutes gone in the second half. And the Legends are leading by six goals to two. And this could be extended with Byfield, with the uh, Byfield on the left. Good covering play by Spoon. It's going to be a corner, though, to the Legends. In the middle, he had Stuart Hendry and also Frankie Gavin. Gavin's taken his usual role upon the right, but he's still there. Number of drinks being thrown on. Once the sun does come out here at Southern Coalfield, it is very warm and very humid with the, uh, the rain that we've had. Hendry gets the short corner from Byfield. He's got plenty of options, including Byfield himself. Chance to drill the ball across. He tried to I think, delicately left foot chip, but straight into the defender it was Jonathan Preston. It's going to be another opportunity for a Hendry-Byfield partnership on the left-hand side. Once again, Byfield picks it up. Again, can he chip the ball in? Can't. Hendry might have a shot himself. Not entirely sure what that was. I think it was a, a cross-come shot, and in the end it was neither. So goal kick to the Queen Elizabeth eleven. Mackenzie's gone short. And he receives it. I don't think um, Dan Bardell, who has done very well in goal, it has to be said. I don't think he's got the biggest kick on him in the world. A number of uh, goal kicks have been taken short and this time just plays it straight into Stuart Hendry, who doesn't charge down. I think a bit of sportsmanship there by Stuart Hendry. Nice little drag back there by Paul in the midfield. It's going to be the legends who come forward once again. Here's Shane Garland on the right. Shane's offside. I don't think he realises. Now he does. Very, very quick, Shane Garland. He's very happy to be on the field as well. So I'm not too sure that uh, the defence and the midfield of the Queen Elizabeth XI will be delighted to see Shane Garland, especially if he makes any forward runs, because I don't think they're going to catch him whatsoever. So it'll be interesting to see. He's wearing 15 on the near right-hand side. He's also wearing white socks and red shorts, so it's very easy to see for the legends. Let's see if he picks up this long ball by Nick Hawks. He's trying to, but Mackenzie's a very, very good left-back. Done very well. And uh, Sparks his counter-attack. Littlewood with a cultured ball forward. Goalkeeper comes out, but the go defender... Says, now I'm going to take this and then plays it straight into the centre forwards <laughs> instep. And Matt Jordan had the simplest of opportunities from 20 yards just to pass it into the back of the net. And well, the smile on his face, a, a little bit of relief, but delighted to get on the score sheet. I think he's also delighted to actually take that opportunity because, yes, it's a guilt edge chance after just being past the ball, but they still need to actually put the ball in the back of the net. And 
they can sometimes be the more difficult ones. So 6-3 now. We're approaching the halfway point in this second half. A number of substitutes coming on now for the Queen Elizabeth XI. Coming on is Jordan Dent and also Doris Gordon, although, again, many of these numbers are being recycled. But Wayne 14 definitely is Mr. Jordan Dent in the centre midfield position. Ball forward for Garland. Garland versus McKenzie. This is going to be very interesting indeed. Garland trying to use his pace, but McKenzie again getting goal side. And I think if I had to uh, award a, one of the men in the match at the moment, I think McKenzie would have to be in the reckoning. Done very well. Here he is once again. I wonder if he's going to move forward at any opportunity. Poor ball forward. I'll give that a bit of commentator's curse. Here goes a move from distance. That's over the top of the bar. So, 6-3, and it would be very interesting if um, the Hospital eleven actually get the fourth goal and then see the uh, maybe the change in, in atmosphere. At the moment, it's uh, the pace is somewhat just dropped off the last five minutes or so. It's going to be a rolling substitution for the Legends. Coming off is the former Commonwealth and British boxing champion Frankie Gavin. Coming onto the field... will be a uh, unnamed substitute actually so we'll see how he gets on maybe it's actually one of the Queen Elizabeth players coming on for the Legends team getting a bit of run out along the side the likes of Lee Hendry and also Aaron Byfield Hendry in midfield good control plays it forward the run was by Stuart Hendry he's in an offside position but the substitute will pick it up who wasn't offside nice drab back who's been read well by the defender and Preston just knocks it out for this throw-in. Hendry goes himself. <coughs> Thornton out to the substitute. And Thompson this time tries to go himself. He's going to get no change at all from McKenzie. Throw into the Legends. Once again, a no-look pass by Hendry this time. He might have been better off actually looking where he's kicking the ball because it just goes straight out of play for a throw in to the hospital 11. But these, those sort of tricks is what you want to see. We've already seen a, a few no look passes. A, another, we had a Marseille roulette earlier in the centre circle. Here's Garland down the right, and he's going to win. Is it a corner? Yes, it is. So the substitute does well up against Preston, who himself has done well at the centre of the defence. A much changed defence now for the. Elizabeth 11, the likes of Spooner off the field, and also Bullows as well. So the mainstay of that defence has gone. So possible opening of the floodgates here, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Byfield outside of the boot in. Out to Hendry, dumbs his first effort. Into the goalkeeper's hands, a placed effort, very delicate, almost like a pass back. So 20 minutes to go. 6-3 the scoreline in favour of the Legends. Ball forward towards Jordan. Jordan leaves it to his teammates. Chance to play the ball back. Substitutes in this area and that goes wide. I think he would have been better off actually pulling the ball back for Jordan who started the movement. I think he's saying that as well to his teammate. If he played the ball back, Jordan would have had a really good opportunity. And again... A 6-4 scoreline would be uh, very interesting indeed. Here's Garland. No goalkeeper's out of his, off his line. Does very well. Sliding tackle. That's possibly the best tackle of the match. And it's by the goalkeeper. I think Garland, again, he looked up and saw the goalkeeper sliding out towards him on the edge of his area. Again, I don't think he was ready for that. Byfield. Some sort of control on the near side. Isn't successful in keeping that in. But, uh, yeah, really good tackle there by Bardell. Rescued the situation you might say. So substitution for the Queen Elizabeth. And coming off is Matt Jordan, goal scorer of the third goal. Gets a nice round of applause. Also a few whoops and hollers from the 
crowd here at Sutton Goldfield Town. Good ball forward by Hendry. And the uh, other Hendry, Stuart Hendry, is beating the offside trap. He's got Garland in the middle. He's going to go himself, though. Cuts back. Chance for a left-footed shot. Leaves it for Garland. And it's the seventh. Seven goals for the legend. And this time, it's a substitute Garland who's coming over to the near side. Let's see if he's got a celebration. <laughs> he's telling the benches to be quiet. I think he's, uh, he's come onto the field with the biggest grin that I've seen from a footballer in many a day. And he's uh, delighted to get on the score sheet. Express pace. So 7-3 the scoreline in this tremendously entertaining Legends versus Hospital 11. It's the Peter with 11 in the dark blue against the Queen Elizabeth 11 in the white and red who just launched the ball towards the area. Chance for a shot from distance. It was a good tackle actually by the substitute. I think it was Harry Bolton on the edge of the area looking for what would have been the goal of the game. But yeah, 7 3. He's played in a fantastic spirit, as you would imagine. Look at that for a raking ball from Hendry. Again, Mackenzie does well, gets there ahead of Byfield, who's now on the right. But yes, played in tremendous spirit with a competitive edge, which you do need for the game to be entertaining. A number of fantastic goals. And 7 uh, 3, the current scoreline. And I don't think we've uh, stopped there. We've got around about 17 minutes to go. Hendry leaves it for a moo. Byfield who's dropped deep. And Byfield's time up front might have ended. I think he's just going to drop deeper and deeper, let some of the substitutes go forward, and he's going to have a bit of a chat with a number of their forwards and have a bit of a, a joke around, leave it for some of the younger legs, as you might say, including the likes of Hendry. Good ball out to the substitutes, who controls well behind his left leg with his right, although ruined that somewhat with his ball inside. Hendry does well, Stuart Hendry. Looks for Lee, who's on his left. Dummy shot forward, and it's just cleared by the defence. It's going to be a corner. Yes, it runs out for a corner. Garland was the intended target. Corner comes into the six-shot box. Goalkeeper, second opportunity, gets it. Did well, though. Commanded his area, got the ball, and throws out first time. The break is on. It's four on four. Now Barfield's coming back to help out. Ball forward towards the substitutes, Paul. And the goalkeeper simply comes out, throws forward. And the game's got very, very stretched, and I imagine it will get even more stretched as we enter the final quarter of an hour. Ball forward by Byfield. Again, McKenzie's there. Helps it into the crowd. Byfield to Hawks. Hawks to Burgess on the far left. Good ball forward for Thompson. Good control by Thompson and move. Daly's on the ball. That's the first time he's done that this game. It's Harry Bolton. Scuffs his ball forward. Helped on by Jordan Dent. Ball over the top looking for Delves, who's on a hat-trick. I'm surprised he's not had an opportunity for a while since he's blazed one over the top from a, a cross from the right earlier on after going to ground and his, his volley went high over the top of the bar. He's very unhappy. Garland ran into an offside position. So if the ball did reach him, he would have been given offside by the uh, linesman on this near right. Good ball forward towards Christian Dulfs on the left cuts back onto his right ball in into the centre comes off the knee and again goes wide so yeah the game has got stretched but that's for both teams nice play by 
Byfield running around his man, but uh, Dawes is very tenacious. He's not going to let Darren Byfield run by him like that without getting back and winning the ball. Hendry is going to shoot from distance. No, leaves it to Amu, slightly behind him. Amu on his left side, not his favoured right. Drags it back, lovely nutmeg to find Lee Hendry. Dumbers his shot, leaves it for Stuart Hendry. Again, would like it on his right, so doesn't take the shot with his left, even though he was in the central position, penalty spot area. Amu, good dummy. Goes to ground, it's going to be a free kick. Taken quickly, so no real harm done, as you would say. Shot from distance over the bar. So another role in substitution for the Queen Elizabeth XI. Looks like the two-goal striker, Paul Dells, is leaving the field. He's going to get a nice round of applause as well. Ball forward by Jordan, who's now back on the field. Goalkeeper does well. Did he get caught there by the attacker? He puts his hand in the air as if to say, I didn't touch him at all, but I think the goalkeeper would have uh, said that. Good chest down there by Preston. He's got Garland coming back very enthusiastically and well, he takes a shot from distance. Why not? Why not indeed? The cry of come on Matt there from the crowd. Matt Jordan back on the field. Score of the third. Open goal really, but he was 20 odd yards out so he still needs to hit the target. Lee Hendry. Good ball over the top towards the move. Broken the offside. He's trying to be pulled back there by Bullows. In the centre is Garland on his own. Garland's already scored one. Can he score a second? Yes, he can. Good finish. Composed finish. Waited almost for the goalkeeper to go down and then just lifted it over. And uh, almost apologetically puts his hands in the air. Different celebration from his first. So it's the eighth there for the Legends. Second of the game by Shane Garland, the substitute. <laughs> so 8-3, the dark blue of the Legends lead. There's just a player down, it was the uh, number two, Robbie Bullows, who was uh, trying to get back actually. And he was trying to chase a moo. And I think once again, he's gonna try and stay on the field. And the substitutes come on to give water rather than actually take his place. So back underway. And I think the, uh, the chance now for the Queen Elizabeth XI is really gone. 8-3, they're not going to peg this one back. At one stage though, when it was... Especially when it was 5-2, just after... Half time. It was 5 1 at half time, and then an early goal in the second half made it 5 2. And there was a number of opportunities for the Elizabeth 11 to get back into the game, including that chance that I mentioned a minute ago from Dells, where it went very high over the top of the bar from only six yards out. And if that went in, it would really have been game on. But unfortunately, soon after that, it was the uh, sixth goal, which was really the killer. Lovely nutmeg there by Lee Hendry. He's going to be trying to be closed down. And the cry of close your legs from the crowd. There's a number of uh, nutmegs by Lee Hendry. And there goes Thompson, who's come forward. Good play, though, by Jordan Dent. And also McKenzie wins a goal kick for his side. So I think the uh, the tricks are going to come out there. Plenty of nutmegs, one-twos, no-look passes. Also pirouettes and uh, back heel flicks as well. That's what you want to come and see, the, the stars. The likes of Lee Hendry, England international, Byfield, Jamaican international. And so we had Frankie Gavin on the pitch earlier. Byfield standing on the halfway line, has not moved at all. Ball forward, goalkeeper's going to come out and does very well. He had to handle that well because the forward on the far side was uh, right with him. He, uh, any mishandling, again, it would have been an open goal. Here's a move. 
Good ball over the top to find Stuart Hendry, who's onside. Lovely chip over the top. Gascoigne-esque. He's going to try and do the same again with the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper read his mind and stood firm. It's going to be a corner, though. Lovely play, though, by first and move. Great ball over the top, and it was Stuart Hendry who lifted the ball over the centre-half, tried it again. So less than 10 minutes to go. Corner comes in. Attempted flick there by Hendry. Didn't come off at the near post. A back heel behind his body. Same way as a uh, Jean Franco Solo actually scored a goal. Very similar for Chelsea. I think it was against Norwich at the near post where the corner came in and he did a, a bat flick and it went in. Here's Lee Hendry over the top of McKenzie. And it's going to be another corner to the legends on the right. Would have been about the same time, actually, that Lee Hendry was playing for Aston Villa. Went on to represent many teams in this neck of the woods. Stoke, Derby, Leicester. Here goes Stuart Hendry. He's drawn past pretty much the whole team. Good diving tackle by McKenzie, just as he was about to pull the trigger. Matt Jordan's back on the field, scorer of the third. He plays it forward for the substitute to run onto, but Darrell Burgess is back and he's going to play it all the way to Dave Curtis in goal. And Dave Curtis, very, very casual, a bit too casual, and uh, a bit of a word there between <laughs> Darrell Burgess and Dave Curtis, the goalkeeper. I think one definitely had one idea. I think he, it was going to be Darrell Burgess who thought the goalkeeper was just going to launch it clear, but uh, never mind. This time it's just helped forward by Burgess and now Hendry's broken the offside he's got Garland on a hat-trick on his left-hand side goes himself hits the post back out to Garland who can't pick it up groans from the crowd slightly scuffed effort ball over the top for the Elizabeth 11 on the right here's a substitute he's got plenty of men forward shot is scuffed second opportunity goes wide so two great opportunities in the last 30 seconds First of all, it was Hendry, his right foot his shot, hit the post. And secondly, it was a substitute for the Elizabeth eleven, whose shot was wider than near post. A real opportunity. Here's Jordan, dancing past Byfield. Chance to bend it in, straight into the goalkeeper's arms. We've seen similar goals at that end of the field in the first half for the Legends. This time he didn't get the... Uh, the whip or bend from the far post. Again, Hendry goes past his man. Is he going to make amends this time? Again, he's got Garland to his left. Goalkeeper stands up, plays it back to Lee Hendry. <laughs> has to go and recover the ball. wonder what he's going to do. He's going to try and chip into the far top corner. Outside of the foot, just wide. And he's going to get a round of applause from the crowd. Good inventiveness there for Lee Hendry. You're having a bit of a joke with Stewart. I think Garland won't be incredibly happy there. That's twice he's helped out on a one-on-one -on -one and... He would have had a simple open goal for his hat-trick. I don't think he's too bothered, really. Five minutes to go. Here's Hendry once again, who's going to be determined to score another. Goes himself, shot, and that goes wide. Scuffed effort. So, Stuart Hendry with three chances in the last three minutes or so. Strange, actually, because earlier on in this second half, the Legends were trying to walk it in. Now they're taking shots from any angle. So five minutes remain. It's 8-3 to the Legends in dark blue. Once again, it's the Peter With 11. D Steve With was actually started the game. Ball over the top for the Queen Elizabeth 11, who are in the whites and red. Yeah, Peter With. Scorer of the winning goal in the 1982 European Cup final for Aston Villa against Bayern Munich. Played for five years for Aston Villa. 74 goals in 182 games. Very good goal scoring record. And of course an in England international as well. Went to the 82 World Cup. Looks like there's going to be more substitutes for the legends just for the last part of the game. Looks like Darren Smith is going to make another appearance, started the game. In Byfield, is literally not left the same 10-metre area 
just in front of the dugouts for the last quarter of an hour or so. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's Byfield who makes way. Hendry. Good control, but under no pressure. Outside of the boot, forward towards Garland. Anywhere will do for Jonathan Preston. And truth be told, he did well, actually, just clearing his lines, giving his defenders time to regroup and also take a breath as well. Many of these are substitutes and won't be, with the greatest respect, full of match fitness. So in these warm conditions, might be breathing quite heavily. And when you've got the likes of Stuart Hendry and Lee Hendry and the very, very pacey Shane Garland, it really is a daunting task. That's why the offside trap's been broken on a number of times in this second half is Hendry all the tricks are coming out of the box now it's Nick Hawks who's venturing forward byfield finds Stuart Hendry tries to play in the substitute on the far side he's going to have another opportunity to Amu's made a good run tries to pick out Amu's in a lot of space number four Amu over the top of the bar tries to chip the goalkeeper who again stood up well I think he's definitely learned his lesson the goalkeeper after the the first goal of the game he went to ground quite uh, easily but Dan Bardell has done very well indeed very very well a number of crucial saves one on one and he's uh, stood up firm it was the penalty he went down quite easily for and it meant that Byfield just rolled it in the other corner but since then he's really had a watching brief in goal and not committed himself when you've got tricky customers like the Hendries and the Moo. So we're entering the final couple of minutes. Very, very entertaining game here at Sutton Coldfield Town FC. Lovely conditions as well now, although we've had a lot of rain earlier on, but the pitch being this uh, crumble pitch, AstroTurf crumble, takes the uh, water very well indeed. Lovely backflip there by a Moo. Finds Thompson to Hendry. Hendry looks to his right, sees Byfield, who's reluctantly now going forward now turns on the afterburners goes past his man to the byline into the area defender does well actually gets back and takes the ball off him it runs out for a goal kick so credit there to the substitute defender it was Josh McLeish actually who was left for dead in terms of pace but got back and got a foot in even in these last minutes or so so yeah very entertaining game a number of fantastic goals especially in the first half lovely play there in the midfield, turns away from his man and plays a lovely ball forward. Unfortunately, he's offside. Oh dear, the substitute, he can't believe that. That was his chance, really, his only chance to get on the score sheet. Unfortunately for him, lovely ball forward after great play in midfield, but just a yard or so offside. But yeah, in the first half, especially a number of lovely goals. And the second half started very competitively, but now as they do with these sort of games they're just uh, drifting off towards the 90 minute mark Byfield though plenty of tricks goes to the bar line cuts it back back to Hendry is he going to smash this? no he's leading the defence of Mary Dan is trying to bend it in the far post Garland for the hat trick tries to head up holds his head more out of embarrassment than anything and the final whistle has been blown and a very rapturous round of applause really from the crowd very entertaining game won by the Peter with Legends 11 by 8 goals to 3 8-3 the scoreline against the Queen Elizabeth 11 fantastic game plenty of cracking goals first half goals from the likes of Lee Hendry Stuart Hendry bends into the far top corner also a 50 yard effort which was tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper Dan Bardell who did very well in goal for the Queen Elizabeth for the 11 and Paul Delvers, who was the centre forward for the Queen Elizabeth eleven, with two goals. And the players shake hands in the centre of the field. So the crowd have been entertained for 90 minutes here at Sutton Coldfield Town FC in this Legends versus Queen Elizabeth eleven, 8-3 to the Peter with eleven. Take a mic, sir. Go on, let's get the medal for you. Well done, man, well done. Well done.
Here with Gary Shaw at Sun Coffee or Town FC. It's been a fantastic day um, and quite a competitive game. It was actually, yeah. Um, There's quite a bit of talent on show, to be fair. I mean, the uh, QE team have started off really well and uh, look very sharp. Younger team, I think, average age, younger side than us, but I think uh, quality is told at the end of the day. Yeah, we, we've worn them down a little bit. And obviously uh, charity is the uh, name of the game here today and plenty of fans out to see the stars and uh, hopefully a lot of money raised. I hope so, that's the, you know, that's the issue today. It's a big thing, don't make raising money. And thankful to all the, the lads that turned out. The names are local, ex players from various clubs and stuff like that. And all to a good cause. I mean, personally, it's a bit because I, I spent five weeks in the QE just recently, so I know how um, much they, they work so hard in here. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to be here and up in my own way. So. so, a number of stars out on the uh, field today. If you had to pick one or two standout performances, maybe from a few of the established players, but maybe a few of the uh, unheralded players, as we say. As we say. Unheralded? I always call them unheralded, to be honest, but. You know, not personally knowing the um, the individuals from the QE side, but I say they give us a few problems in the first 20 minutes, but we managed to, to work them out and so sort of said, you know, that uh, I think you know, the, 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 the 10, they had a couple of nice little sharp players there for us to, to sort out. But, yeah, and um, but it's been a fantastic day, fantastic day. You know, the weather was a little bit inclement from time to time, but, you know, it's uh, best for the turnout. Hopefully we'll raise a, a right few quid. Excellent.